In this series, I've shown you how to create a collapsible outliner in Delphi and to indent and outdent nodes. But how do you drag and drop branches of the outline from one place to another using the mouse? Well, that's what I'll show you in this lesson. Well, luckily for us, the Delphi VCL help system has some sample code. You can see that here, which I've just pinched. Essentially, what you have to do is, let's go back into my project. You have to create uh, an event handler for on drag drop. Let me just click that here. You can see here's my code. Um, and this is an event that's triggered when you've been dragging something with a mouse and you want to release the mouse button to drop it. Now the tree view provides the drop position, that is the X and Y coordinates, as returned from get hit test info at, and the get node at method returns the node at that position. That is, it gives me the node under the mouse pointer where I want to drop something. So here, node is the drop target. The tree view node that I clicked when I started the drag and drop operation is the selected node. I can get this, the node that I want to drop from the tree view's selected property. Then I just call move to to move the selected node to the target node. Now, this attach mode argument determines whether the node is attached at the same level as the one onto which it's dropped, or as a child or inserted into a list of nodes. All these modes are documented in the Delphi help, so I won't go over them here. One other thing I have to do is to set up an on drag over event handler and set the accept parameter to true to allow a node to be dropped. Okay, so let's see how this works. Here's the program running. And let me see, I just select the source node and I'll drop it here onto the target node. Here we go. And there it is. This is only very basic functionality so far, and there's quite a bit more that we need to do to make this foolproof. Even so, it's a decent start. What I really want to do is create an ideas processor, something that lets me make free form notes. I can then enter little notes that are associated with each tree node. Well, how do I do that? I'll explain it in the next lesson. Get free source code, hints and tips from bitwisebooks.com or sign up for a course at bitwisecourses.com.